Texas A&M coach Jimbo Fisher came out to the Houston Touchdown Club, and he was asked about beating Alabama and whether or not they were just going to have to wait until Saban retires or, you know, what the plan is, basically. Because, you know, Jimbo's going to be there for seven more seasons. He's been there for three years now. He said, no, we're going to beat their ass even while Saban's there. And that, that was his quote. We're going to beat their ass. Which is funny in and of itself. We could obviously talk about that in and of itself. Lane Kiffin tweeted and was like, what are you doing? Like, what, this, is, this is the problem. Everybody does this. Everybody ends up getting their rear ends whipped. Jimbo Fisher has not been within three scores of Alabama since he got to College Station. Last year, their, their playoff worthiness was a 28-point loss to Alabama. That was their only loss on the schedule, and they lost by four touchdowns. I mean, it's, you know, is what it is. So Saban, his response when he was asked about it, obviously a bunch of TV cameras around, and there was a reporter that said, Jimbo Fisher said that uh, they were going to beat your butt, is what she said. And Saban smiled and smirked and looked at her and said, in golf? And it absolutely cracked me up. If you have not seen the video, you need to go check it out. It's on my Twitter. You can follow me at GaryWCE. Uh, but it was a classic response. And then, of course, he delves off into coach speak and whatnot. The typical stuff that you would hear. Well, he's done a good job recruiting, and Jimbo obviously is a good coach. And, you know, eventually I'll probably get beat by one of my assist or former assistants and blah, 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 blah. You, you've heard it all before. But that is, it was fun. It's, this is what makes college football so entertaining is when we do get stories like this, and there are so few of them because it seems like some of these coaches are very mechanical. You hear the same stuff over and over and over. They're robotic almost. And Saban especially is a big part of it. But him responding with in golf was classic, and I absolutely loved it. So uh, definitely go check that out. The video, again, on my Twitter feed, it's at GaryWCE. Very easy to find. Uh, go ahead and do us a favor. Uh, like the video. Subscribe. You know, I, I waited until halfway through or, or part of the way through to go ahead and ask you. But that certainly helps us out. If you're watching on YouTube, like it. If you are on the podcast, go ahead and hit subscribe. Leave a nice five-star review. That would certainly help us out for sure. It gets us out in front of more people. We're trying to grow this thing. And, and we certainly could use your help with that. That's our biggest marketing budget is word of mouth. You guys are the advertisers for us, and we cannot thank you enough for that. Uh, moving. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.